of the week everybody and for the end of the week video we're going to do something a little bit fun today so today is Friday here in Australia so I decided I need to get going with my uh, new candle mold range lots of you will know I've talked about this how I'm actually going to be making some of my own vessels just some smaller ones and finally seven weeks later my molds have come in today I tell you I could not be more excited um, I have actually ordered them some have come from China could not get anything with the shape that I wanted in Australia I wanted a particular rounded almost like a honey pot but a flat honey pot kind of um, mold so these little molds came today so this is what they look like and you sort of pour in this bit here I'm going to show you what I do the recipe of how I actually uh, use you know how I actually pour them in and because there is a bit of a formula to doing these um, but of course you know there's lots of learning so I'm actually using a product called Hydra Stone and it is a cement clay product it's actually a casting product and what actually happens is it's like sort of softer to start with and really easy to pour but once you leave it for about a week it cures really super super hard you can even make earrings I'll show you the earrings I made as well with the little extra bits that I had left um, so it's super super cool and now this is what I started with everyone so I started with these little tins and they are great the tins are great they sell really well I sell these for $13.95 and half of that obviously for wholesale so for a wholesale client these are a bargain uh, you know like around $6.98 or something they pay which is super good and then they can sell them on for about $16 but I decided that lots of people have these I wanted something that was unique to me that I could personally make myself so in comes my journey of uh, like I said getting these molds now can you see how this mold if I hold it flat can you see how it's like kind of rounded at the bottom I love that that's what I really wanted um, I didn't want a flat one so anyway we've got them I'm going to show you how I make them today and I have made one off camera so here is my first little try at one doesn't this look amazing I mean I love it so it it will dry white it will dry like a white marble but at the moment um, it's wet because once you take it out of the mold then you need to put it in a water bath and you sand it with a tiny little bit of sanding paper it takes like 20 seconds to sand it it's very fast uh, and you can see the bottom this is the bit that you kind of sand because you want this not to be rough and you want around the edges to be good enough so that um, nobody's going to cut their hand or scrape their hand on it so these are what they are so if I can show you the difference so um, you know like obviously that's the difference and obviously you could charge a lot more for this because this is handmade for starters and it's just different no one's going to have the exact one because every single one of these is going to be unique and different and I am going to have different colors on them depending on what the fragrance is so this particular one which is you know um, it's like a, your sort of black one I'm going to have this which is my product called Ocean Shave and that is like um, it's kind of a unisex uh, scent but it's it reminds me a little bit of an aftershave but an aftershave with a bit of twist of lemon I guess is what it is uh, so anyway that's what that is going to be and the only thing I will tell you that I've noticed with these molds so if you can see that can you see how it's not an exact circle sometimes you might get one that's a little bit wonky but you know what I don't care because to me it's like these are organically made these are made by me I will be having a description to say they are not exactly perfect it's not from a factory it is made by my hand sanded by my hand poured by my hand and so on so I'm going to show you how I get this marbling effect as well let me show you nice and close doesn't that look so cute love it and then of course I am going to put the wax in but we need it to dry so I can seal it and so on so it's going to I'll show you how what I actually do so it's on one of these so this is like a little baking tray um, and then that way you know the air can circulate under the bottom and on the top so that's what we're doing for that oh and I'll show you so it's going to end up being like this so this is another one I've made so it will end up being this white sort of color um, it's like an off-white but really lovely so like I said they start like this and then they're going to end up being this color which is super beautiful and then I will have these ones as well 
attachment I've made a few and I'll show you this one so then this is the green one um, there's just little pops of green not a lot just a little pop of green um, or you know like I said we've got the marble and I do have another green one so this is a different green one so you can see how the green is going to be really different on all of them um, so some won't have any at the back but generally if you put color it's going to pull itself to the back of it which is fine it doesn't matter they're all sealed anyway but let's pop the camera down let's start making something super duper fun and I know you're going to love making this so let's get going all right everyone let's get started so I do have this little cup this is a disposable one and just to let everyone know I will not be using disposable ones but we had a Christmas party and we had 10 of these left so that's why I'm using these but please everyone try and save the environment you can get a plastic cup and then just chip all the extra bits out later or a silicon one and then you can once it's all dry you can just tip it in the bin because you don't want to be tipping any of this wet stuff underneath the sink uh, or in the sink because if if you start tipping it in the sink it can clog up your drain so it's really important to remember this has an element of cement and plaster in it so inside here you can see in here I have measured up 300 grams of this particular powder so now I did measure these up I need 155 grams uh, per each one but that's with the water added as well so I did notice that but I wanted a little bit extra because I'm going to be making something else for one of my daughters as well So now we do have our distilled water. Um, it doesn't say you need distilled water. You can use plain water. But as one of the other girls that I watch did say, and I do agree with her, sometimes when you don't use distilled water and you use tap water, you can sort of see a couple little spots on the outside of the jar. And I really didn't love that. And she's right. I did notice that straight away. Um, so distilled water seems to be stopping that. So like I said, we are going to be now adding in 100 um, grams so it's basically three parts of the powder to one part um, of water so let me just make sure I measure the right amount okay so that looks pretty good and then all we're going to do is stir it now this is just a kebab stick you know look you, you probably need something better than this but basically I've been stirring it with a kebab stick or a chopstick I mean it doesn't really matter I mean a ruler whatever you want as long as you're getting all the clumps out so um but usually I make them in much smaller portions so the stick's fine but of course this is in a bigger portion so I'm just going to get something a little bit better than this thin stick because that's no good all right I have a spoon now so um and obviously this spoon is only for what I'm doing now this is only for crafting things so the only thing I'm going to tell you is when you're doing this particular product called hydrostone the reason um it turns really hard is what actually happens is it needs to uh draw in all of the uh water inside the powder and then it will start to go thick but you need to get all the clumps out so it's really important that you mix right around on the edge otherwise you're going to get see clumps like this so we obviously need to mix that in to the powder um, and it does set quite fast within 30 minutes it will be set uh, but for the starters what we actually need is we just want to make sure that we mix everything together uh, you can get like a tiny little handheld whisk obviously not an electric one just you know like a handheld one you can stir it around I mean you can use many different things to mix it but I mean I'm not mixing massive amounts I guess if I was going to be pouring 30 jars at once then maybe I would use an electric one you can use um so many different ones but like I said you know we want this to be thin and we also want this to be smooth so I'm just going to keep mixing it because there are a few lumps and bumps so basically the best thing I've actually found is mixing it until it's super smooth and then I usually like to leave it just for a few minutes um, and it, the reason you leave it for a few minutes is it starts to get a little bit thicker and it really starts to combine well because as I said the whole idea of this particular product is it needs to absorb all of the water within the powder to make it work and be nice and smooth so you can see here it's really smooth this is like a light sort of pancake mixture but depending on what you want um, if you want the marble 
look that I'm doing. You don't want it to be too thick or else the marble bits will be heavy. And I'll show you one that I did when it was thicker. So if you can see when it was thicker, can you see how heavy the marble is? Um, and I've noticed when it's thinner, it just moves much, much better and uh, much more easy. So now we've done this bit here. I'm going to let this set for a minute and um, then we're going to come back and do the marbling effect. All right, so we are back. This is looking beautiful. It's just a little bit um, thicker, but not too thick. Now, what we have here is just some acrylic paint. It doesn't have to be the best one on the market. Now, for me, all I like to do is have two drops um, of paint. You know, if you add too much, um, it won't actually set properly. So don't add a lot. So I'm going to actually just kind of um, put them in, then I'll show you with the camera. And so now, now can you see how there's just the two drops in there and then we're just going to swirl it. So if you can see the two drops, I hope you can, all you're going to do is just get this stick and basically you're just going to go over it a couple times to get that kind of swirly look that you can probably just see in there. Uh, but don't mix it too much, otherwise you'll make it go grey. So now let's just pop everything together. So here I do have one of my little moulds. So obviously we need to turn it up the right way because we're going to pour it and it goes down the side in there. So let's just pour the first pour in. And you can see it's going down the side. So I just poured a little bit in the first one and gave it a bit of a tap. And that's what I'm going to be doing with each one. I'm going to actually put some of this in here because we want to have the, the black bit in. Now, if you feel like it's not, um, you know, like that you get down a little bit and there's not a lot of black, you can just go and put one more drop in and give it another swirl in between. Um, and then that will bring a little bit more black in it, as you can see here. So let's just pour that in. And you want it to come to the top because the top's what's going to give you that sort of lip that it sits on. Um, but, you know, there's no right or wrong. This this is your little beautiful product. You're just making it how you love. Um, and it really, I really think the important thing is making sure that it's just what you want for your company, you know. And if you sort of swirl it in circles, you'll get a little bit more of a textured type look. And, of course, we want to give it a bit of a bump and a shake because that's going to get any air bubbles out. Um, this one I filled up a little bit too much, didn't I? But that doesn't matter. We're going to clean that later. Um, and the main thing is you just want to keep tapping it, vibrating it a little bit just to get any air bubbles up. Like I can see some air bubbles coming to the top now. Um, oh, and one thing I will say that I have learnt, which I don't have gloves on at the moment, but it actually can dry your hands out, this product. And you really should be wearing a mask uh, when you're making this because it does have a product. I'm not sure whether this one does, but General Cement has a product called Silica in it. And Silica is very, very dangerous and deadly to your lungs. You don't want to be breathing that in um at all so i usually do have a mask to be honest and i should have worn one but i don't have one on um but when i was first getting the first amount out of the bucket um and putting it in the cup i actually did have a mask on but anyway like i said it's very important that you look after your own safety i'm not going to lecture anyone we all can do our own thing can't we but anyway this one needs a weeny bit more so let me just put a tiny bit more in that and as i said these little ones here I'll see if I can actually find the link for you and I'll pop them in if anyone loves them. Um, and you know one thing I was going to say, sometimes like the one I made didn't come out exactly perfect, but you know, it doesn't matter. This is your little thing, you know, we want these to be um, unique to us. So I just bought two. I definitely suggest buying at least two at a time because you don't want to be just making one every time. It will take you forever. Um, but, you know, maybe I probably will end up buying maybe another um, three or four of these uh, but for now I just wanted to try it out in case I didn't like it um, and now lots of air bubbles have come to the top which is good but even if you've got air bubbles on it when you unmold it don't worry about that this is organic you're making it by hand so please don't worry about that anyway we're going to let this dry I'm going to bring you back when it's dry so you can see exactly what it's going to look like 
all right we are back it has been an hour i left them for an hour while i watched some netflix so this is what they look like before we undo them so now basically all you want to do is just sort of get the outside and you know flick everything off and don't worry if it doesn't look perfect when you take it off because do remember we are going to be you know sanding this like in a bit of a water bath so all i do after this is i literally just sit them in a little bit of water you know like and then just sand them straight away it'll take 20 seconds i take them out and just let them air dry it's as simple as that so we want to sort of pull the first bit over just sort of wrap it over um it's like taking a pair of socks off really so you know and you can see how easy that was it was pretty easy to get off and then just give it a twist and then the inside comes out so isn't that nice and easy it looks pretty smooth i really can't see many air bubbles or anything this looks a little bit um not as smooth but that's fine that will be smooth in 10 seconds once we um do that so and as you can see you know it is definitely better to um buy two like don't just buy one because uh, if you buy one you know you've got to wait half an hour in between or something and it just takes so long so i definitely suggest at least two or three i probably should have bought four for the amount that i make uh so anyway doesn't that look cute so they're all different you can see that they're totally and utterly different some will have you know different bits of black on or whatever and you know you really do need to let these air dry don't seal them until they've dried uh for quite some time and you know what you can also do is you can make like some earrings or anything with any leftover bits that's a purple one that i did some little earring tops so you know you can make lots of things with it but we're all about making these aren't we at the moment so i'm going to let these just you know sit on the shelf for a few days and then i'm going to seal them so i'll bring a separate video of when we're going to seal them but this is it for today so let me show you how i'm going to put them on the little uh, rack so you can see one that I've already made on here uh, and then literally I'm just going to sit these and I'll just put these on a shelf in my studio and then they can just, you know, air dry. But don't they look beautiful? So I'm not sure of the cost yet or the price. I'm going to have to do some sums. I'll go back onto Inventora and pop that in there and see how I go. Now, one thing I wanted to talk about is once you've done that, now, I don't know whether you can see, if you can see, there's like a little black mark inside there and that's from like your acrylic paint. So in between, you may need to, um, so if I open it up, you can see the black in there. Now, if I don't clean that out, basically that's going to smudge on the next one. So either wipe it out or just give it a bit of a wash with some soapy warm water. Don't put them in the dishwasher or anything. And then you can make the next ones. But if there's nothing inside it, then you can just pour directly into it but anyway we have done these for today haven't we and we have established that these do take 155 um grams of mixture so that's what i'm making with these ones anyway i hope you've loved it today everybody and i'm going to bring you back uh soon and the next video hopefully i can do another video soon that like i said is going to be the sealant on it so i can show you how i seal these up these are the small ones we will be making big ones soon but for now, we have done these ones, haven't we? So I'll bring you back next time.